Hey Fawn fam, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. If you like what you see, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. I do try to post as regularly as possible with as many new videos as possible so being subscribed and turning that notification bell on will go a long way in ensuring that you never miss out on all the fun, new content, new releases and everything that is the Fawn family. I just want to give a quick shout out to thank all of you guys for loving the natural makeup that I've been doing for these skincare videos. I am with you guys and I think I'm going to stick to just doing cream highlight, some lashes, and um, my peach color corrector for dark circles. That way you can still see my skin because I like to show you guys my skin in skincare videos and I'm not hiding it with foundation and concealer and powders and contour and blush and all that. Uh, but I still get to be like a little bit polished on camera. So I really appreciate all of the love from my other vi videos. And I do want to also say I am reshooting all of these videos. <laughs> Every video Video that you are gonna see me wearing th this shirt in. <laughs> um, I filmed on July 16th, Thursday, July 16th. I went to start editing on Friday the 17th and every single video had no audio. My mic was not working and I burst into tears and had a complete meltdown and then I was so puffy that I couldn't film because I did every trick in the book and I had cried so hard because I was not feeling well on Thursday. I had spent hours filming videos and I lost everything. I couldn't do voiceovers, nothing was like, it was just, I had to just toss it. It was unfixable. So we are starting fresh and we're, I just got to put it behind me and we're, do, we're just going to go for it again. I'm looking, my audio is working, so hopefully nothing happens again. So today we're going to talk about the difference between squalane and squalene. The difference is that one letter, the A versus the E, and it makes all the difference in the world. I learned so much researching this, and I hope that you guys learn a lot too in this video. Please leave your comments down below. I cannot wait to read them. I want to know if you guys learned something as well, if you what you pick up along the way because I was blown away. I just knew that I loved Squall Lane so much, uh, but I did not know why I loved it as much as I did and all of the nitty gritty that I am about to get into. So, although both serve a similar purpose, that one letter makes a big difference when it comes to efficacy and stability. Squalene, with an E, is naturally produced by the body. More specifically, it's produced by the sebaceous oil glands in our skin. The sebum that our sebaceous glands produce is actually made up of triglycerides, wax esters, and squalene. As annoying as oil can be, all of its components, squalene included, help to keep the skin moisturized. Squalene is a lipid or fat made naturally by our oil glands to hydrate and maintain the barrier of our skin. The beneficial properties of squalene don't end there. It has also been found to fight free radical damage in our skin as an antioxidant. Unfortunately for all of us, our natural production of squalene slows significantly after the age of 30. Lucky us. <laughs> Which is why it makes sense that we'd all want to bottle it up and slather it all over our skin. However, squalene in its natural state is not very stable which is why for skincare purposes, it goes through a saturation process to become squalane. To get into the nitty gritty, the E turns into an A when squalene is converted into squalane through a process called hydrogen hydrogenation. This is necessary because if squalene is not hydrogenated, it would oxidize when exposed to air and no longer have its benefits. 
In other words, Squaw Lane is a more shelf-stable and effective version of Squaw Lean, which is why the former is the version that typically makes it into our skincare creams, face serums, and oils. Now, I was shocked. I went through so... Okay, one, you guys know I'm not the average consumer. I have a problem. I'm a skincare and makeup addict. So I, like, have not kidding, a thousand skincare products to go through. And I did an overhaul of my bathroom, reorganized everything, tried to do things by different categories. So like it took over 24 hours to do what I wanted to do in my bathroom and I'm still not done. And as I've been going through products and reading through things, which is not included in the organization process of the over 24 hours, by the way, I was shocked to find that some of my products had squalene in them. And they were expensive products. And I was like, are you serious? Uh, no, a buy. You are not going on my skin. The second I open you up, you are like not going to be stable anymore. Um, there's so many things wrong with squalene that I don't even understand what these companies were thinking and why it's an ingredient included in my skincare at all. So something to be mindful of when you guys are purchasing it. It is definitely the minority by far, but it still exists in some products. So just something to be on the lookout for. So squalene, the bad one, is naturally found in high concentrations in shark liver. The ocean animal, yes. Uh, for a long time, shark liver oil was one of the most common squalene sources in cosmetics. Due to obvious ethical concerns, many companies have shifted away from using shark-derived squalene in their products. In fact, it is hard to find it on shelves in the United States at all. Instead, the squalene in skincare products is now being derived mostly from plants, such as olives and rice bran. It can also be derived from other plant oils, including amaranth seed, wheat germ, and even sugarcane. Who should use squalane and what's the best way to do so? Because of its well-documented emollient properties, people with dry and or mature skin can especially benefit from using squalane, though it can really benefit all skin types, including sensitive skin. Since it works to naturally seal in moisture, squalane can aid in skincare problems where the skin barrier is disrupted and transepidural water loss, TUL, T-E-W-L, is an issue. These include things like eczema, acne, and even psoriasis. I absolutely love squalane after I've done an at-home chemical peel, after I've gone through my shedding process from using um, products like tretinoin, my prescription strength retinol, or it's just been, I'm, I feel dehydrated in my skin from either having, you know, alcohol the night before, or it is, I'm suffering from my harsh winter weather in Michigan. I, I'm, I love squalane for so many reasons. And another great thing about squalane is that it is odorless and not a common irritant or allergen. So even the most sensitive skin is unlikely to react to it. That said, for those with sensitive skin, while it is not thought to be particularly irritating, it is always important to be cautious when starting new products to make sure your skin can tolerate it. So squalene is very unstable, comedogenic, and it will go rancid rather quickly. Squalane is when, when it goes through that hydrogenation processing, and this means it turns the squalene from an unsaturated oil into a 100% saturated oil. This is even more than coconut oil, which is around 80 to 90%. This is important because our skin does not produce saturated fatty acids on its own and it's essential for true moisturization and health of the skin. Plus, it's non-comedogenic and suitable for all skin types. Squalene is a fat-soluble antioxidant that our skin produces in our sebum. 
Squalane is non-communogenic, more stable, suitable for all skin types. It helps compromise skin barrier issues, whether it's damaged, you have eczema, acne, psoriasis, dehydrated or dry skin. It is a lightweight oil and an emollient. It's commonly derived from plants. It's also an antioxidant. It's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and hydrates and moisturizes. Squalene is comedogenic. It's not stable. It's not suitable for oily skin or anyone in their teens or 20s because they produce it naturally and they have plenty of it. It's traditionally derived from shark liver and it becomes squalane through hydrogenation. So squalane, since it's 100% plant derived, it also provides super hydration while supporting oil control and it has anti-aging properties. The benefits and uses is that it is super light, non-greasy, and it absorbs quickly into the skin. It's also really great for using with massage. If you're using like your physical, um, physical massage with your hands or you're using tools, anything like that, it is a great oil to have on hand for massage. It is a natural anti, a strong natural antioxidant. It stimulates better blood circulation for the skin. It does not form a barrier on the skin like many other oils do, so and may be used under moisturizers. It offers superior hydration for all skin types and conditions. It helps regulate excess oil production. It improves moisture balance and the elasticity of the skin. It prevents environmental stressors. It helps with premature aging. It aids in penetration of other nutrients, helping skincare products be more effective. It's fantastic for hydrating the eye and lip areas. It's clinically proven to be non-irritating. It's good for skin conditions like eczema, acne, dermatitis, and psoriasis, and it has antibacterial benefits. So I had no idea that Squalane was this amazing. I knew that it was an incredible oil. I just did not know that it was this incredible. So you bet that I have been incorporating Squalane even more into my skincare, not just on recovery skincare days, now that I have found out all of these beneficial properties to Squalane. So please let me know if you guys have learned something from this video, if you knew just the amount of amazingness behind Squalane, and if you knew that there was squalene versus squalane, just all of it. I would love to know all of your feedback. So that is it for this video. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.